Hi. Have you ever considered transforming a routine shopping trip into language learning for your kid? At the end of this video, you'll have several engaging games that can make any shopping trip a joy ride. But first, let me ask you this. How could you and your child have fun and boost vocabulary in any language at the same time? These are not pencils. These are magic wands. Notice how we're describing objects in creative ways? This is crucial when learning any language. These are not olives. These are eyeballs. But hold on. Our next item is a real game changer. Can you guess what household item will turn into something for a giant? Let's see if you're right. This is not a bowl. This is a plastic cup for giants. Here, we're using comparisons like similes and metaphors, which make language learning not only more colorful, but also more memorable. And we're just getting started. Our next game will help your child think on a grander scale. This is not a pharmacy, it's a farm by the sea. Did you notice how we played with the sounds and meanings of words? This technique is a powerful tool for children to remember new vocabulary. It's almost like creating a secret language, which adds an element of fun. To learn a specific memorization method for vocabulary, check out the card in the upper right corner. In that video, look for tip number eight. In the next scenario, I tried to stop Selena from eating chocolate on a weekday, but she did find a way to outsmart me beating me at my own game. This is not a badminton racket. It's a device to hit children that eat chocolate on weekdays. This is not chocolate. This is Nutella. Now for the next language game, the purpose game. Check it out. I will turn around when I finish this book. <laughs> this is not a bookstore, this is a storage for books. In this game, we're not just renaming objects. We're focusing on describing their purpose. This approach deepens a child's understanding of vocabulary by linking words to their functions. Now it's your turn. Here's a fun riddle to test your skills. Put my heart on the line, begging you to be mine. You can be left alone. I got a riddle for you. What do you get if you uh, take the elevator and plus fun? If you found our mall adventure helpful, you're going to love our video on improvisation games designed to boost children's language learning. Be sure to watch that next. Thank you all for joining us, and here's the answer to the riddle. It's a roller coaster! Today, we're diving into three improv games that will revolutionize how your child learns language. Maragat, crepe to do. Pelty, 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 pelty. He says, don't do that. That is not good. No, 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 no.